Kidding me? What the hell happened? Forty year am I
so my girl got so, mad as he my bro, Monica, your bro, though. As a kid's a bro, co, headed to his home, though. No, we living solo. Burn a break, burn a break. I just broke into his place. It's in him, the space gap. From then I say, as evidence, you entertain my lawyer, you didn't betray the only woman that I claim to risk your life to get some strange. All my anger is a pain. You didn't know that I'm a saint. I will blow you. Then I can't get the game. Brooklyn, cause he shot right south side. C12 911, good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the rich is hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex no day ready. See, we wouldn't ride nobody with. We the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni had to buy, Yanni had yet to This goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh huh. That's how you know we lit. We're in the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field and here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone and the decision to bring it out not a good one as he's tackled it to 15 Looking to pass first play is Prescott. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Prescott. Over the middle complete, that's Schultz. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first and 10, Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Prescott fires one out wide complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
A good looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Now the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Now back to the ground with Elliott. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. the shotgun. It's Prescott. Oh, shit. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. Touchdown! Dak Prescott with a connection to C.D. Lamb. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Good throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. On first and ten, it hurts. Let's come in, down he goes. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down set. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. sensational start for this defense instead of just forcing the three and out which they were about to do they pick it off and take it in for the score yeah I mean they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game they started in dramatic fashion take it away score points and guess what 
They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. And now the kick is away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Third. Right there, right there. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. He's got Smith here. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. a handoff to Sanders and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six only a yard that time second and goal once again with Sanders and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles! Chris Watkins, a five-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. Elliott good with a PAT, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The offense running out and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Catch is made. It's Schultz on the out route. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. On third and one, here's Prescott. It's complete to Brown, right side. No gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Prescott. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. On play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this one too low. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. They come up second and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Stiff armed him. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16 yard line. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Prescott to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and they end up making the play. Second down and goal, Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. Here we go, here we go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. But first down, Hurts. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here we go. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. This is Smith with a grab. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard. But they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. After the sack on first down, Hurts, but it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They 
just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be fourth down. Try and throw for it here. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. So it's certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. Eh, well, it didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, it must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Behind the chain, second and 12. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got them this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Okay, the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions, that won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. He's got room at the 30. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Second 
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Smith, the man in motion left. On second and ten, Hurts. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Anthony Barr comes rumbling in for the sack. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. defense is going to get him the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now that's a nice play. Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them to throw his press gun. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A big play here for Dallas. 49 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Prescott yet again. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. 
Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Check match, check match. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurts. This is caught. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot. And he's the one that burns him there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. Hertz will throw. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The leads count to 16. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Prescott looks to throw on first. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Prescott on first down. That is caught by Lamb. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row, and now a pickup of eight. The play fake, Prescott, Eagle pressure, too much this time, down he goes. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Prescott now. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, you can see and feel the disappointment on that one because you saw some guys on the sidelines jumping up going, oh no, looked like they had that one set up well on third down. But you got to give yourself time to get rid of the football. Here we go, 46, 46. Fourth down, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no, your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. Sets up to throw it. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 25. It's a game of 18. That's good for an Eagles. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance. Well, by 